I have seven genius home hacks that are gonna take your life to a whole new level, including this little doohickey right here. Do you know what this is for? Today we're talking about stains, produce, rust, toilet, and so many other goodies. Nothing in this video is sponsored and anything I talk about here today will be linked in that description box below. Let's do it. Andrew and Jean, I just spent so much time cleaning my whole bathroom, yet it stinks. Where is that smell coming from? There are a couple of culprits I'm gonna show you and also show you how to solve it. So underneath the toilet seat. Now, maybe it just means that your toilet brush stinks or maybe you just don't see it out of sight, out of mind. But we're gonna get under here and you're gonna see all the, well, number ones and twos that's accumulated. Let's get a peek. Woo-wee, my friend, here we are. We got some stuck on stuff up and under there. It's dark. We got ones and twos clinging there. I don't see it when I'm standing up high, but right now, my head down low. Oh yeah, let's take care of that. Two things that are gonna be helpful for you. Yes, a good toilet brush, but this is fantastic. This is brand spanking new. This toilet bowl cleaner is awesome. There's a couple of reasons that I love it. It's blue, so you can really see where you're pouring it. And two, it is so thick. Watch this. We're gonna get this up and under the rim as best as we can. This stuff clings like none other. It's like goo in there. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, and I actually wanna put a little more toilet bowl cleaner on here. Like, let's see if I can get it. There we go. We're gonna be generous with this. And we're gonna take this, and we're gonna get under that. There's also a part that's frequently neglected right down in here, these two little grooves. Use this to get in there. Keep your face away from it just in case something splatters up. There. This baby is powerful! The beauty of this, this brush is doing all the work. I just have to move my hand back and forth. Unlike a regular brush, you gotta like get in there like this. No, this is like lazy cleaning, but highly effective. See how well this is still clinging? So if you have a lot of mineral deposits in here, this is fantastic. All right, next we're gonna take our toilet brush and go to town on that. This toilet brush is fantastic because it's angled just right to get down there in that small hole, which often can get really dark and brown too. It also has some bristles here at the top. better that looks oh yeah baby you are the master toilet cleaner after this one the next place that stink likes to go is right in here and all these little hinges and you may be saying to yourself energy and just remove your toilet seat it is not that easy there's screws in place like it's a hole to do and if you lift this up look at that look at all that pee in there and all of these small spaces you want to clean it but you don't want to have to remove this entire thing by unscrewing it what do you do look at this these are a game changer when it comes to cleaning your toilets and i absolutely love this product let's take care of business And the best part about this is you can just throw it away. Poles are cleaned, hinges are clean. What's the next step? 
Let me show you. This is worth the investment. This is a toilet seat that's just gonna pop on and off so that you can easily clean underneath and not have to deal with screws and tools. So let's pick this up. I'm a little nervous to see what's underneath here. No joke, my friend. This P, all of this right here, underneath the toilet seat. Oh my word, we're gonna get some toilet paper in here. Ugh to begin with. Ay, ay, ay. So if you've not removed your toilet seat in quite some time, here's your opportunity and your cue to do so. Or, or not, that's fine too. I mean, just look, look under here. Ah, look at all that. That's so gross. Ah, I'm so excited. If you have small boys, you will appreciate this one. This toilet seat is a soft close, so there is no more pecker smashing. If you have a small boy and you've ever heard a scream from the bathroom, you know what I'm talking about. It's because he did you know what. But look at this, and it's quiet. Here's the best part about this. To clean under here, you just pop these up. They're a little bit, a little bit tight. Oh, there we go, got it. Gotta break them in. Got it. Might break a nail, just kidding, not kidding. Then you're just gonna shimmy this off and now you can clean all around these parts and you're not gonna have that accumulation of urine like you saw in the other toilet. Why in the heck do they even make those other toilets anymore? It is beyond me. But you just slide those back in, pop it, and it is good. It's secure. Everybody's happy. Your toilet's happy. Mama's happy. Papa's happy. We've conquered the toilet. If you want to do this completely chemical free with the power of steam and heat, get yourself one of these. I just put this attachment here on the end and watch this. Woo! Definitely loosening up a lot of stuff. Looking good, my friend. There's another hole in your bathroom you may have not thought of before that could be the culprit of those stinky smells. Right here in your sink, this overflow hole, sometimes water can get in there and it's dark and it's damp and odors can come in here. I know this happens in my bathroom. So again, just go in with some sort of spray. It's just easy application, easier to do. And the smell in this is fantastic. It is not too overpowering. Just take your spray bottle, put a generous amount down there. Let it sit overnight and do its magic, and that smell should be gone if it was coming from this hole. You got a stain on your clothes or carpeting and you think you know the best way to remove a stain, but do you really? Today I'm gonna to show you four different products, ones sent to me by you when it comes to removing stains on your clothes and we're gonna see which one actually did the best job. I'm gonna go in with some shoe polish to create our stain because this stuff is almost near impossible to get out. Oh, look at that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This one feels darker than this one. That was just, okay, there we go. All right, we got that going. We're gonna label these in just a second. The first product that we're gonna use is this Grandma's Laundry Stain Remover. I do love the Grandma's line, but let's see how this compares to all the other products that we're gonna use. Put a generous amount on here. There we go. This one, many of you had said that you use this to remove stains in your clothing. I've never used it to remove stains, but I do love this on my walls. So we're gonna go in with this. I love it so much, it's almost out. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a backup, hold on. Dun, 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 I always keep backups of my favorite products on hand. There we go, we got mean green here. Let's label these. We're gonna put here G for grandmas here. By the way, pack of 75 of these came. These are absolutely wonderful. They are washable. Here we got, we're gonna call this M for mean green. Next, we're gonna go in with the OxyClean. This is my favorite stain remover. I use this on everything in my house. When it comes to removing stains, we're gonna call this one O. And last but not least, Windex. I've used this to remove carpet stains. It works fantastic, but how about for clothing? And we got our W. 
We have our grandmas, our mean green, our oxyclean, and then we have our Windex. Let's wash this up and see which one did the best job so that you can save your hard earned dollars to buy the best stain remover. Can I just say I'm super excited about this one because I don't actually know myself which one is gonna do the best job. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit of laundry in here. So this microfiber towel, uh, something to wash with it. Here is our towel. We are throwing this in. I'm not gonna use fabric softener, although I normally would. I'm gonna go in with this rinse and refresh because it just smells amazing and it does what it needs to. I believe in a good detergent. I'm a Tide friend. Nothing in this video is sponsored. And I'm just gonna do a quick wash and I'm gonna do this on the warm setting, so 26 minutes. Want to know the easiest way to remove rust stains or hard water stains without having to make a vinegar, baking soda paste, and deal with all that? It's this right here, my friend. It's not just any old eraser. We got these hockey skates for one of my sons for free, and you can see here there's a ton of rust on the blade. So I'm just going to take this eraser and watch how easily this comes off. And again, if you have water spots in your shower, this is amazing. Silverware, you got some rust stains, some buildup. Maybe you have some pots and pans. Did you just see that? It basically melted away. How about over here? See this one? Watch this. Do, do, do. This eraser is great for so many different things. You can use a regular eraser, but it does not work as well as this one. Here we go, watch this. Woo, how long did that take? Like 10 seconds, if that. Now I could really go in and get really detailed, but you saw how easily that came up. We can look right here. Let's see, there's just one more here on this side of the skate. Uh, whoever had these clearly had a pet of some sort. <laughs> I see hair coming off. Okay, there we go. Ooh, a little bit of elbow grease on this one. That one is tough in there. These skates kind of look ancient in my opinion. Look at that. Pretty darn amazing. Make sure you have one of these in your arsenal. While we're here, let's talk about stinky smells. Of course, you can put some baking soda in here, but it's really a pain in the butt to extract that baking soda. It's gonna be stuck all of your socks, or you're trying to bag it over a garbage can. Funk away, spray this in here. You can use this in so many different things. Depending upon the severity of stink, you're gonna saturate a little bit more, and it kind of smells like, hmm. I don't know, I like it, like a clean. <laughs> Is that a smell? It smells clean. Produce is important to wash it, especially if there's dirt on there and pesticides on there. You can certainly get yourself some apple cider vinegar, spray this on there, let it sit, rinse it off, call it a day. However, my kids hate the smell of this. So here's an alternative. This I think is a number one bestseller. Don't quote me on that, this produce wash. It's basil lemon, removes dirt and wax. So let me show you exactly what I like to do when it comes to this. I like to make my job easier and yours. And here's some tips and tricks to make your produce cleaning easier. Grapes in a matter of seconds, all nicely cut and ready to eat. Want one? Mmm. This is fantastic, by the way. If there's any moisture that comes out, it's gonna end up down in here rather than your fruit or produce sitting in it. It's done. I kind of think it's gonna be the OxyClean. What do you think? I am gonna be just as surprised as you are. Okay, here's our towel right in there. Let's just see, we're gonna put these in the dryer. And yes, I do dry my microfiber towels just like normal, medium heat. Okay, here we are. Wow, this is not what I was expecting. They're like all gone. 
Um, wow! Can you tell a difference? The Mean Green, the Windex, the OxyClean, the Grandmas. Um, so they're all winners. Pick your poison. I kind of think the Grandmas doesn't work as well, and I say that also because it's darker here. But two, I've used it on other stain removal things, and I just don't think it worked as well. So pick your poison when it comes to stain removal. It's the next day outfit change. You know I try these things out for an extended period of time to make sure that they work and then I share them with you. We're gonna try out two products here today to see if they're really worth the hype. You know you can't believe everything that you hear on the internet. We're gonna go ahead and fill this bucket with water. This will all make sense in just a second. We're in my girl's bathroom and this toilet does not get used very often or flushed very often. Therefore, hard water lines start to accumulate around here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Hopefully it will. It's a little bit yellow, a little bit pink, and then this will harden and start to turn into that brown color. Here we are on my phone. Now you can see this line a little bit better right around here. See that? It's faint. Yes. It is a tough, tough cookie. Let's see if it'll pick it. Yes, you can see right in here. There's that line. Let's give it a second whirl, shall we? Is the camera able to see that right in here? What I want to do is lower this water level because it'll make sense here in just a second. So take a bucket of water. Look at that. Now our water level is much lower and we're going to go in with this product. CLR Brilliant Bath Fresh Scent and might I say it does have a very nice smell to it. Now it says to spray the product on. I love that it's a foam cleaner because it's going to adhere a lot easier and better than typical toilet bowl cleaners that may not clean as well. I'm getting real generous in here. Now, because I want to ensure that this product sticks to those watermarks, I'm going to put a little bit of toilet paper down and I'm just going to slide it right in here, just in case that foam wants to slip away and slip down there. Now, typically I would use my Lime Away. I've shown how well that works, but I wanted to just try something a little bit different. Now it says not to leave this product on for a prolonged period of time, but it doesn't really say what a prolonged period of time means. Does that mean two minutes? Does that mean 24 hours? Does that mean two hours? I don't really know. I'm gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes while we move into our next product. Now, if you wanna avoid the bucket altogether, you certainly can. You can play with the water shut off and shut on valve down here, but I just don't like tinkering with that. Like, I just wanna leave that alone. So that makes you a little bit nervous. The bucket is a great alternative to lower that water line. If you're curious about CLR, here are all the other places that you could use this on. Stainless steel, I'm intrigued. The pink stuff, the Miracle Power Foaming Toilet Cleaner. Two treatments are in this. I have a yellow pinkish line that is starting to accumulate around here in the toilet. So this is supposed to deep clean and help with any sort of lime scale buildup. I'm excited to try this out. I do like some of the other pink stuff products, particularly the paste. I don't love the multi-purpose cleaner, but I mean, it's gonna get all pink and foaming here. That's, I don't know, that makes me excited. That makes me want to clean. So we're gonna put this in here and then let it sit for 10 minutes. It definitely smells like the pink stuff. They're consistent with that. We have all this powder here, so I want to take my toilet brush and see if I can just get it all around the toilet. Ooh, I will say this is super satisfying. Kind of reminds me of like shaving cream. Oh, I can see this really coats your toilet well. just for this purpose right here. We're gonna let it sit just a little bit longer. The CLR has been sitting for about 10 minutes. Let's test it out. Hmm. 
Okay, it went in the toilet, but that line is still here. I will pull out my uh, camera phone to see if I can show you it a little bit better. So maybe I just didn't let the product sit long enough, but I don't know. I'm not convinced at this point. I'm gonna give this one more whirl and see, but this time I'm gonna let the product sit just, just a little bit longer. I don't know how long yet, but we'll see. This has been sitting about 10 minutes, the pink stuff, so let's see where we're at. I have to say it did a good job of cleaning the toilet. Now my toilet was not too terribly dirty to start with, but I will say I like the process of using this product. And if you love the smell of the pink stuff, this will definitely permeate your entire bathroom. It's been about an hour. Let's just see what we're working with. It definitely it feels lighter and brighter. Let's give it a flush. Oh, <laughs> let me turn the water back on. say it makes my toilet look whiter and brighter but as far as removing the mineral deposits from the toilet ring it's not my favorite it does smell amazing I do think it's a great cleaner but not for this particular problem area lime away still my favorite click that link in the description box below to sign up for the free weekly newsletter also click this video on screen now if you want to see some more helpful and genius home hacks to aid you in basically anything that you need thumbs up subscribe and I will see you my friend in the next one